Yes, I have enjoyed myself here. I have really enjoyed myself. People are so nice and so polite. They've just been like, bonjour, bonjour. I have been bonjouring for five days now. <laughs> and I like it because that's something different than what I'm used to. See, in the States, people don't speak to people that they don't know. They don't. In the States, if you say to somebody, how you doing, they go, no, how you doing? <laughs> Why you worried about how I'm doing? How are you doing? <laughs> I'm usually the only woman on the show because I'm working in a male-dominated field. And I like it, though, because I think I'm different than other women. I think I'm the only woman that gets offended if I'm in a room full of men and nobody tries to hit on me. <laughs> I'm serious, because most women would call it sexual harassment. I think it's only sexual harassment if they're broke. <laughs> right? I'm telling you, I'm different than most women. I trip off of women that decide that they don't need men in their life. You ever see women that act like they don't need men in their lives? Not the lesbians, the other ones. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ones that give up on romance. Like, I have a girlfriend that went through a really bad divorce, and so she swore she didn't need a man. She was like superwoman. She was like, I'm a strong, independent woman. I don't need a man for nothing. All of that sounds good, but when you call a house, see how desperate she sounds on the answer machine. She's like, hi, this is Barbara. I'm not home right now. You can call me on my cell phone at 837-2961. Or you can reach me at my job at 638-7924. Or you can call me at my mother's house at 781-6329. Or you can email me at lonelybitch.com. <laughs> Do you realize that there's things that you can do as a woman to make things financially easier for you? <laughs> oh, yeah. I call it girl power. You got to learn how to flex your girl power sometimes. Like the next time you go to the dentist's office and he has you laid back in the chair, right as he's about to turn that chair around, ever so gently, just stick your elbow out. Gently graze the tip of those pants just a little bit. <laughs> Look up at him and wink your eye. He's not going to charge you for stuff like cleaning and checkups and floor. Look at my teeth. <laughs> you see that? That's girl power right there. That's girl power. I'm telling you. It kills me when I see women say that they can't find a man. I'm like, how can you not find a man? Hell, in today's society, a man can find a man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because gay is very popular. Gay is very popular. Did you know that for the first time in the United States, we have an all-gay high school in New York City? All-gay high school. I think it's a beautiful thing. I really do. But I think that's a bit early for you to determine your sexuality. And who gets to choose? Who gets to go to the gay school? You'll be a little boy in the cafeteria sucking on a popsicle. Next thing you know, they done shipped you off to the gay school. Whoa, don't nobody suck a popsicle like that. You got to go to the gay school. <laughs> Me, myself, I still don't have children. I don't because I always promised myself, I said, I'm never going to have children until I get married. Well, I think I waited too long to get married because I think men shouldn't get married until they're over 30. Whereas women, I think we should get married when we're younger. Not that you're ready, but just so your bridesmaids could look better. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, you mess around and try to have a wedding late in life. You go down the aisle, follow about four, five baked potatoes. <laughs> they got on satin dresses with the bowls way up here. They mess up your pictures, you get your pictures back. You'll be like, damn, y'all messed up my wedding pictures. I thought y'all was working out. <laughs> Montreal, y'all have been great. Thank y'all so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, keep going for Bob Saget. Oh my God, right? I can't, I can't believe he has AIDS. So I need to always put that out there straight away. I am born and raised in London. My parents are Nigerian. Any Nigerians in the house? It's a long shot. I didn't think it would work. <laughs> <laughs> 